these right here, they're a problem. I love solo car camping and I haven't been out for months, but before I get out there again, I need to fix my privacy problem. supplies. The problem with the Reflectix window coverings is that they shrunk. So the tragedy of the Reflectix is that after spending four days in the sun protecting the car, they got so hot they buckled. Originally, they were cut and designed a little bit bigger than the windows. So you could just shove them in and they would stay by tension. But after this crazy heat, they shrunk and now they're too small and there's cracks. So I like to camp with 100% stealth. I don't want anyone to know that there's anything happening in the car. So my hope is that this Gorilla Tape, if I just put it around the edges, hopefully we can kind of fill in those gaps and bring back that tension holding that was working before because you know now without the tension they sometimes fall out and so after a sip of beer it began the tedious work of cutting the tape and carefully lining it up along all the edges of the various pieces folding them over but folding them over of course neatly and in such a way that I was creating more overall volume around the edges so that they would fit in the car, hopefully. Okay, I taped the first one. I did a back window because it was small and easy. Let's see if this works. All right, battery is dead. Film. Okay, so there are no more gaps, but I might need to cut the corners a little bit for a tighter fit. It's pretty tight here on the bottom. Oh, oh my God, there's still, see that? You can see the brown through there. Hold on, okay. Move this over. Maybe this will, yeah, that'll block the brown, so that's good. So this side fits pretty tight. There's some overlap at the top here. And this corner kind of bleeds out, but whoop, there's a crack. We'll have to try it after dark to see for sure. Wait a minute. I just realized it's the black side we want out. Let's try this. So it works best for me to shove it in on the bottom and then, yeah, okay. This side here is the, probably the least well fitted. The rest of it though is pretty tight. So I think this crazy patch job is going to work. But here's the thing, if you have the money and if WeatherTech makes coverings for your car, absolutely, I recommend just buying them because this whole makeshift put together thing, making these was a pain in the butt and I'll link a video for how I did that down below. Fixing them is a pain in the butt, they shrink. I don't know how the WeatherTech ones do in the heat. If anyone knows, let me know, but yeah, these have been a real pain. Okay, I don't even know how long that took. Maybe it was an hour. I guess it was an hour because I listened to a full podcast. So it took about an hour to tape up all these edges. So let's take them down to Carmen and see how they fit. And I've got the scissors with me so I can trim them as needed. Okay, it's a little tight with some overflow. sort of working, but obviously I'm going to need to bring the tape and scissors and fill in some of the cracks as I go. And hopefully these won't pop out of the windows, which they are threatening to do, but I guess we're just going to have to go camping and see if it works. Okay, 
we've got that bed problem solved. We've got the privacy problem solved. The next problem we need to solve is where to go camping. So let's dive into the maps. <laughs> 